Okay, so one week down. Hey Google, what day is it today? It is Sunday, the 7th of July, 2019. Okay, there you go, you heard it from Google. And so far so good. I'm one week in, I feel pretty good. I'm quite sore. My knees are kind of bugging me, but that's why I'm gonna go see Synergy Health tomorrow. My friend Jamie's gonna kind of dial me in, I think. And uh, yeah, I can't wait for that video. There's a lot of videos coming up. There's videos every single day, seven days down. Today's video is all about hill climbing and climbing a hill on a bike. You know, a lot of people just pedal. You know, are you doing it correctly? Is your pedal speed up? I don't know. So I'm excited about this video, but you have to wait till the end. We're doing a giveaway from TripFit. If you don't know what DripFit is, that's okay. But you'll know after this video. So stay tuned to the end of the video. You're gonna wanna watch this. It's pretty awesome. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share this with your friends and family. It's all to help the Ride to Conquer Cancer uh, training vlogs of taking an average guy like me and making him an athlete. I'm a little sore right now, so I'm, I'm gonna go have a nap. So the workout today uh, is some hill reps. Uh, you're gonna start with 20 minutes, nice and easy to get to the hill, warm your body up, uh, just so you don't go into a workout like this totally cold. Uh, and then we're doing 10 times 30 seconds up the hill and 90 seconds uh, of rest or recovery on the way down. You can pedal around on the flats if you need to at the bottom. So really the point of this workout is, first of all, to work on your technical skills climbing, uh, but also as a good workout. When you go uphill, uh, it gives you uh, more of a workout. You're working against gravity. Uh, so this is looking, looking really good here. Uh, yeah, not too bad. That's a, a pretty good rhythm. Uh, one thing you want to focus on when you're going up is, is that you relax your upper body. You don't grip the handlebars really tight. Uh, you don't have to be like, you know, fighting it. Um, and there, there's a standing, standing rep there, Jesse, and that looked pretty good. Uh, but you're, you fell into the trap that a lot of people do, uh, when they're standing on their bike and that's that they don't let the bike rock underneath them. So right there, I could see your bike was, was very still. And I want you to get used to that bike rocking back and forth nice and gently. So you, you, you don't want the bike to stay in one place. Uh, you want it to rock back and forth a little bit um, when you're climbing. Uh, that's just, you know, the, the bike wants to do that. That's a natural uh, way for the bike to move when you're standing. And, and as you get better, you'll learn to use the leverage uh, from your hands uh, to, to help you go up faster. So Jesse, you'll also notice that in the workout, I gave you cadence or RPM parameters. So RPM is revolutions per minute. And that's how many times one leg is going around the pedal circle uh, in one minute. And you'll notice in here, I gave you between 60 and 70 RPM or 60 to 70 revolutions per minute when you're seated. Uh, that's actually quite a low RPM and that's on purpose. Now, typically when we're climbing, the RPM will drop anyway because we'll run out of gears so we'll, we'll eventually be in our easiest gear and we won't be able to go any further. Uh, so typically the, the cadence or the RPM is fairly low anyway. But I specifically wanted you to have a lower RPM on this workout uh, because it builds strength. Uh, it teaches your muscles to recruit properly uh, and it, it helps your pedal stroke. So it's going to force you into that the push phase or if we imagine the... the, the uh, around the uh, pedal stroke is a clock, kind of from that one o'clock to five o'clock uh, range is where we generate most of our power. And when the cadence is low, it forces you into that a little bit more. So uh, lots of great things from a hill workout like this, short intervals so you can go, go nice and hard uh, and they'll build your fitness up really well.
heard about our drip fit sweat intense fire all natural increases circulation increases vasodilation you use it topically it is safe during pregnancy I'm on my third right now use it for every single one of my pregnancies we have our band here it's not safe for pregnancy it is 100% FDA approved neoprene it locks in the cream helps with absorption it also helps increase your core temperature this is a dynamic duo using the cream and the band together will amplify your workout you will literally sweat waterfalls we are so excited today here to be with Jesse Minty being a part of the Kangoo Club Canada Kangoo Jumps we are here with Drip It and we are going to be doing a huge giveaway for you guys all you have to do follow Jesse on YouTube follow me on YouTube Brenly Cunningham Jesse will put it in this description we are doing a huge giveaway it's going to be a value of over $300 we can't wait to get it on your body and get you seeing incredible results from the inside out <laughs> Excited to bring you Kangoo Jumps. It is going to be so incredible. We have only 25 pairs. It's going to be an exclusive event. We are going to have a fundraiser to help Jesse raise money for the Ride to Conquer Cancer. We're pairing it up with Drip Fit. We're going to be doing a giveaway that night too. So if you are interested, make sure you reach out. Follow Brenly Cunningham on YouTube. Follow Jesse Minty and make sure that you connect with us. Yeah. <laughs>